I don't know if this is going to turn into a set review. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I don't know. Um, I just finished it five seconds ago, so I haven't had time to gather my thoughts. So, uh, 6783 Sonar Transmitted Cruiser came out in 1986. So, it's classic space, obviously. Uh, comes 345 pieces, two figs. It was in the light and sound line um, with the uh, th XT and the little robot guy right here. It's, I, I, th there was some things that impressed me very, very much about the build of this guy. So I was pulling in front with the two guys in the back. I can go there, I can go there. And this guy will come front and center. Well, you can see him. I can see why they went and did Black Tron. Because they had a few sets in the classic space era that came apart, which is really nice. And they used the pins, which is very nice. And this one, I think out of all the classic space sets, used the pin slash Technic uh, brick, one by two Technic brick or whatever. Uh, as the joiner uh, extensively extensively uh, this thing comes apart uh, one part this is the worst part two parts three parts four parts five parts so there's this thing has five separate individual parts including the little vehicle that's unheard of in <laughs> classic space sets that one vehicle turns into five. One space set turns into five. Five different parts, five different labs, whatever, whatever you want to call it, five different uh, things. Also the cute little robot. I'm going to say this is this is a cute, not the cutest robot they ever put out with, but I've never seen this one before. I never built it before. So today I built him. He's, he's, he's okay. I liked him. I, I didn't mind it. Um, there have been better robots and there have been worse robots. This one is uh, medium. <laughs> it kind of kind of reminds me a little bit about the robot from Lost in Space, except a lot smaller. Danger, danger. Um, too many figs, blah, blah. So I guess we'll do it individuals. So when I was building this, I didn't realize that because of the way it was facing, I thought when I was building it with the wings that this was gonna be the front until I started, oh, oh the back, that's the back. So I like that. I also like the fact that they didn't make the wings completely, they didn't fill in the gaps. I, I don't mind that sometimes. Um, I always have a problem with the, the one by four uh, grill fence plate, whatever <laughs> tile, uh, the one by four half fence. Uh, never liked them in a space set because it now is full of holes. Like the rest of it is completely sealed up, but now you have holes. Now again, in the universe, you think that's just the design and it's actually a solid wall. I've never liked the grill plates showing up, but I didn't mind it as much here. It doesn't stand out here like it does in other sets where they use the the one by four half fence piece. Um, I, I but it still it bothers me. You can see straight through it. <laughs> uh, mounting these things on backwards, brilliant. I, I like that. They, again, just exactly the same as the six nine eight zero. The jets go right into the wing, like <laughs> it bothers me when the jets go into the wing. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, again, in the universe, they might have an explanation for it, but I never liked the jets being right next, right the exhaust is on the wing. Um, I mentioned that before, as I said, the 6980. Uh, a few other sets do that. Uh, but it doesn't look too shabby. I'm going to say this. They, they put some effort into the cockpit. They, 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 they made the cockpit look pretty cool. Now, again, in contrast, or in comparison to this guy, which looks really cool. <laughs> like this is, for light and sound, this is really, really cool. Um, this one, also not as cool, but equal, uh, pretty much comparable. Um, not, not, not subpar, just not as cool as this guy. Um, so, I know it's not the light and sound position to make parts and pieces interchangeable like they did with Blacktron because Blacktron, that was the entire stick 
of Black Tron is that you can mix and match pieces from multiple sets and make a big piece, but just mix and match was fantastic. Uh, my one problem with Black Tron 1 is that they made the Invader 6 studs wide and they made everything else 4 studs wide. So the connectors between the 6 studs and the 4 studs and it was backwards, if I remember correctly. The, the, um, if, if you're going to build a set that has on the back the holes and on the front of the next part the, the, the pins, then be consistent. Be 100% consistent. On, across all the sets, that's my problem with Blacktron is that they were not consistent. I think I think the Invader had the opposite direction of pins than the the Renegade and the and the Bad Tracks. So when you put it, you can put the uh, Invader cockpit, put a piece in between, and then put the Renegade cockpit on the back facing the other way, or the Bad Tracks facing the other. Way. That's that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't brilliant. When I when I redesigned the uh, Invader and basically the entire line, I made sure all the um, the backs had the holes of the of whatever piece it was. The backs had the holes, and the front of the next piece, the next module, had the pins on all of it. <laughs> so uh, that's the way I did it. Um, this one, you can't move things around you, you have to put them in the order that they are in on the instructions you cannot you cannot put this piece on here it won't fit well it does fit ish <laughs> so I, I didn't i didn't expect that it does fit ish but again that pin's sticking on the top i think they put too many pins here but that's just again me um let's see can this this thing of course can't plug into that that makes sense uh so there's one mix and match you can actually on the on the on the uh, front driving cockpit, you can put either one, that one or this one on the back. Um, and Bob's your uncle. And so that's surprising. I didn't expect that right until right now. I, this is the first time I tried it. Uh, but I'm looking at the pins lining up. And yes, the, the, the two pins. Okay, you can stop now. Smash, crash, bash. Um, that's what happens when you do things on the fly. Okay. <laughs> My light says seems to be having a good time. Where did that go? It got caught on something. There it is. Live, I tell you, live. <laughs> so, um, the parts in the set are phenomenal. I'm gonna say that the the the, the parts in uh, this this sonar transmitter cruiser wonderful parts across the board including the light and sound obviously light and sound is always cool to have um and and the cockpit covers the the trans dark blue and what would be black fantastic um as i say the the two by eight light and sound parts the the lot of printed pieces in here lots of printed pieces in here which is again awesome and the 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 vehicle uh for the the amount of the the limited number of pieces is pretty cool um but I don't think can it plug into the back of this one. I cannot see this is this is again my problem. So you can't mix and match this. You have to put it in the back of this guy, and that's again fine for that. Uh, can this thing plug into the back of this guy? I guess yeah. So that that can. So this 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 rocket module on the back can plug into both back. You know when you have hand waving lights and you wave the hands and it just it's annoying. I think it might be this thing. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> Should replace that. Um, so, so this thing sits way up here on the back of this module when it's on the back. But I think you can put it down here, which makes it look a little better on this one. Uh, can you put it on the back of the vehicle? Uh, oh, you can. Look at that. So this thing, this guy can go in the back of all three. Can it go back in the back of the car? Ooh, that'd be interesting if you can put it in the back of the car. Because then you have a supercar. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if you can go in the back of the car. It cannot go on the back of the car. <laughs> Say let me. Can't have everything. Um, so there is some little bit of mix and match here. Um, but they, did, they didn't make these two things consistent with the connection points. But that's fine. The other thing, if you're a Technic builder from my era and even beyond, you know this. If you're trying to connect two Technic modules together and you have pins sticking on one side and holes on the side and you have other pins sticking on the side and holes on the side, 
it doesn't go together nicely at all. You have to make sure all the pins are on the one side. I do this for studless beams. I do this for just regular beams. If there's a there's if there's four Technic uh, pins in one, uh, the the join two pieces together, the pins have to be on one side and no pins on the other side. Because as soon as you get one pin on the other side, it doesn't go together nicely. I I don't understand the physics of it, but it never works that way. It, it's always harder to put if the pins are across both pieces to, together properly. If you put all the pins on one side and no pins on the other side, it goes together much easier. And then they blew it here. Um, they have, and, and, and again, it's just because this pin sticks out. So that, that kind of goes with the saying and this thing does, is, has a tough time getting together. I found when I did it. Um, I mean, they line up, but it was tougher because the pins are not in the same plane and on the same side. Well, they are on the same side, but not on the same plane. Uh, but that's just something I noticed from building Technic sets all these years. Um, the set in and of itself, I'm glad I built it. Am I going to order the parts that I'm missing? I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it for me to order the parts that I'm missing to complete the set properly. I'll have to see what the price is, first of all. If I'm making a BrickLink order and other stuff, then I might, especially the, the black uh, cockpit covers. Um, but the two by two uh, tiles with arrow, white arrow, uh, white brick with yellow arrow, uh, I'm just using the round two by two tiles and it's, it's, you can't tell. Uh, am I going, I, I'm gonna replace the yellow two by four electric plate with one of the white ones that I have on the layout because I'm gonna gradually remove all the, electric plates on the layout because I just make my own wires now and I, that's just it's easier. Um, um, other than that, I don't mind this. I don't mind this at all. I, it, it didn't blow the socks off me. I wasn't like, wow, this is utterly fantastic, but I had fun building it. I will say that. And, I, and I, there was some surprises whilst I was building it. Uh, I expected to go this way and it went that way. Um, so when it's, 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 oh, and this thing tilts down for, I don't know what reason. <laughs> I just don't know what reason, but it does. Um, and this thing is not, oh, that's not good at all. Uh, doo -doo 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 some of my parts are, some of these older pieces, see, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's harder to put together because they're not in the same plane or on the same side. Um, it's not a bad looking set. I mean, I, I, again, I, 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 it's above par. I'm gonna say this: like, if if I if I were to grade this, it's a B plus. So don't think that I like it's a fifty percent. I think it's like an eighty. I think it's an eighty percent. Um, and in the grand scheme of things, this this is like a ninety percent. <laughs> this one's just it looks so freaking awesome. It, it looks like a spaceship, and it just looks like it's gonna go somewhere fast and do a lot of damage or whatever it's supposed to do. Uh, and again, this one also comes apart. Um, but again, these pieces don't go with these pieces, which is again, because it wasn't, it wasn't the shtick like Black Tron 1 was. So I'm not faulting it for that, <laughs> that, that these pieces, pieces are incompatible with one another. Uh, it would have been nice, uh, absolutely would have been nice, but they didn't do that. And, and, and it wasn't the intention of them doing that. Uh, I mean, a, a year later, or even then this year, they released Futron which used the same pin and uh, Technic uh, brick connectors for a few things too, uh, which I didn't mind, right? So uh, this was, th that part was not surprising because they did this a lot. They did FX Star Patroller, the Camo 5, blah, blah, blah. These guys, there, there's lots of sets out there from, I would think, 1980. Um, so, so let's talk about this really, really quick. So 1979, 1978, those sets didn't come apart. They had the... the no, they didn't have the, the, they had the rocket launcher, which you had to take apart to get the rocket off the rocket launcher. <laughs> it's fine. Um, but the, uh, the 6880 didn't use uh, pins and Technic bricks to hold itself together. They just had the, 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 the mini vehicle inside the, the ship go inside and then the back end come down to lock it in place-ish. Uh, the robot command center used uh, the um, axle peg which makes things a little easier because it just slides on, doesn't connect in. Uh, and then they had ways of locking it in place, uh, except for the rocket on the back, which the rocket on the back was a pin, pin connection. 
uh, if I remember correctly. But um, the rest of them, the vehicle and this little flying ship is just locked into place. It is held into place by something else holding it there. Uh, the 6980, I remember buying that and building it for the first time and then going, wow, this is awesome. We had the, the back end connected to the first, the front end and the piece came down and it locked it in place. It slid in and locked in place by a mechanism instead of like the, 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 the pin, the te Technic pin. Uh, but after that, they kind of went the Technic pin route which makes it a lot easier, a lot smaller. You didn't have to, because that that uh, gizmo on the 6980 to hold the back end to the front end, that's a little bit extensive. It takes up a lot lot of space on the back end. Uh, they had the whole protuberance of the blue piece going into, keep your mind out of together, <laughs> going into the front piece. And then the whole uh, four by four hinge pl uh, plate came down and locked it in place. And, uh, and it worked and it looks awesome. I'm going to say that the 6980 together looks awesome. The part I mentioned that is not as awesome, but still good. Uh, but I think going to the pin connectors between all the various modules, much better. Absolutely much better. And and the fact that, you know, they, they make it so you can't twist, like it's all locked into place. And you can just swoosh this thing around and it doesn't come apart. Watch me drop it again. But it come, doesn't come apart just by a Technic pin. Now this one, uh, the connector from the cockpit to the first piece, there's two pins on the two by four uh, two by two brick on the second part there's three there's three connectors and why they did that two to three maybe they were saying that they needed that extra because it's heavy you know this thing's got a battery brick on it and stuff but this is the piece that you know if you're holding it from the back i guess some kid was running around like this holding it from the back maybe i don't know because if you get all all, all pieces on here uh, da, 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 you know i can see that it would just just disconnect right there if you only had the two pin connectors so three is brilliant and offsetting them for that specific reason possible also reinforces it a little bit i just find that they're harder to join together when they're not in line and on one side and holding the other side so all in all the set i'm just gonna turn back on and turn this on <laughs> let's go the other way Oh, and I also want to note, trans red antennas. Got a bunch. <laughs> I just ordered a bunch a uh, while back and they came in. Uh, and I forgot that I ordered them from another Rickling store and I went and did it. So I got like, I think I mentioned in another video, I got like 20 at a time, at <laughs> one time. It's like, woo! <laughs> I don't have to worry about trans red antennas for a while. <laughs> uh, the other thing is you can see how bad these arrows are. I'll stop that. Uh, how bad these arrows are. Um, compared to the rest of the weight. And that is because that thing is just being bad. Anyway, guys, this thing, uh, those could have come off my original monorail that was in my room, my spare room. And the light was shining on it for about two years because I had a south facing apartment and the sun was always going across from morning to night. Um, and I know that my, uh, white 6990 monorail, a lot of parts faded to almost tan. I have a couple of pieces in here. When you look at them, you think they're tan, but you look at the bottom, they're still white. Um, that's a whole other story. So it's built. I'm happy it's built. I'm going to uh, leave the guys in it uh, just because. And um, I, I didn't mind. Uh, I didn't mind this part, this back part opening up in the top. So this is where that's from. So you can see inside. Yay. Um, is it, is it fantastic? I, 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 again, I give it a B plus overall. Um, I like the XT better. Uh, that's cause it just looks cooler. This looks like a solid workhorse for what it's supposed to do is transmitting sonar stuff in space. Uh, so it, it, it doesn't look nearly as cool as the uh, XT, uh, but in the end, um, everything can't look cool all the time. So I'm going to put this robot in here and just put them in storage. I think it goes, hopefully it goes here. This arm fell off. This is always a problem with very, very tight spaces to put guys in. You know, in universe this be fun, but um, when you're outside the universe and you're the hand of God pushing these things into place. There we go. So now, will that close? It does. So there you go. 
Um, I liked it. I'm glad I built it. And I and again, I have uh, at least one more uh, classic space set that I've never built, and I don't plan on building it unless I'm desperate for <laughs> something to do. Uh, too much to do. Uh, I did grab, I don't know how, I grabbed the miscounted, so some spare pieces are gonna go into the back into the collection. And uh, there was no other spare pieces left over from the uh, Puron uh, parts list. So, use them all up. So, <clears throat> we will put these things here, here, and here, and say, done deal. I hope everybody out there is uh, doing well. I am pretty happy that I built a set that I've never built before. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a space set, and it's a classic space set that I never built before. And um, yeah, that's that. So you guys all stay safe, take care, and I'll talk to you soon.